Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply shift reduce parsing to check whether the given input string is valid given the grammar. This is the solved example number two. The link for other solved example is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given the grammar with uh, three rules. Yes, PL, T, int or float, L, L comma ID or ID in this case. So these are the three rules present in our uh, uh, grammar. We need to validate whether the input string that is int ID comma ID semicolon is uh, valid or not with respect to given grammar. Also we need to draw the parse tree in this case. So first we will try to understand how to apply shift reduce parsing uh, for this particular uh, the grammar as well as the input string. So this is the grammar and this is the input uh, string given to us. Now uh, this is how actually we can apply the shift reduce passing on the top of this particular input string here. So we have three things. One is called as a stack. Another one is called as input buffer. Third one is the action here. So initially the content of stack is uh, null. So that's the reason it is represented with the dollar. The input buffer is int id comma id semicolon. Uh, finally, we have dollar. It indicates that the end of uh, input here. Now we have to perform uh, either shift or reduce based on the content of uh, stack. Initially, we don't have anything on the stack, so the first token will be shifted into this particular stack that is int. Because of that, I have written shift as the action in this case. So once you shift uh, this int on the stack top, we have left with id comma id semicolon dollar into the input buffer. Now if you look at this particular uh, the stack content that is uh, int, uh, we can apply one rule that is uh, t int that is int can be reduced to t here. So that is what we have done in this particular case. So int is reduced to t, the input buffer remains same. Now uh, uh, we have to shift the next token that is id will be shifted onto the stack top. This is what is remaining. Now once this is, uh, thing is present on the stack top, we have to see can we apply any rule t id this id can be reduced to what l in this case if you look at this particular third rule so id is reduced to l that is what i have written here the content of the input buffer will remain same now we need to shift the next token that is a comma so this will become t l comma in this case now the remaining content is id semicolon and then uh, because we cannot apply any rule on uh, t l comma we don't have any rule here so what we do in this case is uh, uh, we will apply a shift here and then id will be shifted onto this particular stack top. Once uh, we have uh, id on the stack top, we will try to apply a reduce operation here. In this case, if you see here, l comma id, that is l comma id can be reduced to l in this case. So that's the reason we got the tl here uh, and uh, on input buffer, we have only semicolon here. So we will shift this particular semicolon onto the stack top. Uh, that is the shift operation. Nothing is present on the input buffer here. Now, if you look at this one, TL uh, semicolon, we can reduce this TL semicolon to yes in this case. So that is what we have done. That is the reduce uh, uh, operation over here. Now, if you look at this particular stack content, uh, we have a start symbol. The meaning is the input uh, string is accepted over here. If we have anything apart from start symbol, the meaning is uh, we, we have to reject it or there will be an error in that particular case. Now what we do is uh, we will try to draw the parse tree. As I said earlier, we need to start from the leaf node. Uh, we will start from the first uh, uh, shift here that is uh, int is uh, shifted onto the stack. That is a terminal node in this case. So what I do is I will create a node that is int and then uh, we will see what we'll do at the later stage. Now if you see this next one, int is reduced to t here. So we will write this particular T and then this is a non-terminal node. So that's the reason we will put it to circle here. After that, uh, we have shifted ID onto the stack top. So I will create one uh, ID here. Again, this ID is a terminal node. So that's the reason I will put it in a uh, square here. ID is reduced to something called as L here. So L is uh, the non-terminal node. So I will create one node here and then id is reduced to l here after that what we did is uh, we have added uh, what is that called as uh, uh, i or oh, sorry comma onto this particular stack top so uh, i will put the semi comma here and then this is a terminal node so i will put it in square box 
after that we have added id again this id is uh, the terminal symbol so i will put this particular id here and then i will put it into square box after that uh, l comma id is reduced to l here l is present here comma is present here id is present here everything is reduced to what is that called as l and then uh, we will put it here something like this now finally uh, what we have is uh, t l after that comma was shifted here okay so i will put it here the semicolon not comma semicolon is uh, shifted onto the center top so i will create one terminal symbol here finally t l semicolon is uh, reduced to s here so t is already present here l we have here and then the semicolon over here that is uh, reduced to what is that called as s so this will come over here and then uh, this will be over here and then this will be over here only thing is what we need to do is we need to write it on the top over here so that we can match this particular depth and all so, so if you look at this particular uh, pass tree we have reached the start symbol this indicates that the input buffer is valid over here this is a very simple process uh, we can follow uh, so that we can check whether the input string is valid or not with respect to, to shift that is passing and the given grammar over here so this is a solved example number two the link for other solved example is given in the description below. Do follow those particular links to understand the numericals on shift reduce passing. I hope uh, you understood the concept. If you like the video, do like and uh, share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.